Right bro, so it's that time of the week. We've got the weekly sea swim and this is paying back all the comfort that we've had throughout the week. So even this morning you wake up and you really don't want to get out of bed. You're in your nice comfortable warm bed, we're in a warm car and we've got to jump in the sea. But it just helps with mental health. So I started doing sea swims. It's got to be three or four years ago. I can't actually remember. I was talking to my mum this morning. I was trying to remember what my first like what first got me into it and when we first started but it's been years and I did a few sea swims on my own and it was the single most effective thing to improve mental health and I didn't really know like the science behind it and there is science you can do your own research on it but just I would say your research should be just having a cold shower or getting in the sea and if it works, it works. You don't need a scientist to tell you what works. But for me, it was the single most effective thing at improving mental health. I was severely depressed, and that was like the turning point. That was the first habit that I tried that actually worked. And it's it's like, I don't know, it's just effective. I don't know what else to tell you, just try it and see. And it might not work for you, but I think it probably will. But see, I started sea swimming a few years ago. And then I think it, Wim Hof was really popular at the time, so I'm guessing I heard about the sea swimming through Wim Hof. And then I got this, like an old beer barrel. Is it a beer barrel? Uh, yeah, it was a an old. Was it yeah, beer? The old wooden, I, yeah, the old wooden barrel. An um, old oak wooden barrel. And because I saw Wim Hof used to do ice baths in it, and I thought it looked cool, so I put it in the garden. And me and my mate Tony, like, did it a couple of times. And for some reason, I actually did it in a, uh, a wheelie bin. The first thing that's, I did it in was a wheelie bin. I that's, filled... a good, that's a good idea. Yeah. Bin. They're taller as well. Yeah. So you can they're... move it around quite easily. Yeah, although when they're full of water, bro, you can't move them. Oh, okay. They're so heavy. <laughs> and they start bulging and, oh. like, breaking. But anyway, so I started off in a wheelie bin. Did one ice bath in there and thought, I'm doing this in a wheelie bin. I want it to look, like, cool for Instagram. So I bought a an oak barrel, and that was really cool. When you when I like took the lid off it, I didn't realise, but they're burnt inside to seal it, and it smells like beer or whatever it was. I'm guessing it was beer. Did a couple of ice baths in that, and that's that's like my earliest memory of the sea of the thing. Can you remember what the first um, sea swim was? Because I'm pretty sure I did it on my own first, and then I got you into it. Didn't oh, I? you might have, yeah. And I it can't remember. View. It was a sea view season. Was uh, it? Because the barrel is like the earliest memory I've got. Yeah, same. That was my first. Um, yeah, first time doing an ice, ice plunge. Yeah. I've got a picture somewhere. Yeah, I think there's a video clip oh, yeah, as well. I, try, yeah. I, I don't know where it is, but I'll try and find it. Yeah. So we would fill the barrel with water. And then chuck a load like a couple of bags of ice cubes in and that was our ice bath and that was good that was like the start and then we were very consistent with this we consistently did a sea swim once a week every day for like a year it, we were very consistent for a whole year and that would be every week like regardless of what the weather's doing and some of them in the in the early days as well we would go in spend too long in there yeah <laughs> We, we went in one time, Sea View, this was at night, so we would do this like after work or the, the timing, in the winter it gets darker earlier as well, so we'd be in there pitch black, there's no lights in this place where we do it, the tide is quite strong, and we was in there one time, and it was freezing cold, and we were just talking about simulation theory, like we would have these deep philosophical conversations, and we was like we, we call it the seep you start getting the cold seeping into like towards your bones as if it's really penetrating into your whole body but anyway that was the um the early days so yeah i don't know what the score is without but yeah we were very consistent every single week we would go once a week and then once we did a whole year so we we sort of saw the whole season winter knew what that was like transitioning into summer once we've done a whole year i think we kind of thought well we've ticked that off the list so we don't need to prove anything now so but it still is like the anchor 
that works for mental health and it's because life's very comfortable and you have a week of like eating nice foods nice warm house and this is just a reset it's like i think there's a word for it when you you pay dividends or you pay your dues or oh it's like a sacrifice you sacrifice something <laughs> bro uh, i think we can go through town can it's you? just going towards the gym i think it's closed oh it's past the turn yeah yeah sure. so yeah is there anything else you can think of for the like the sea swims because it was a very it seems like the the turning point it was the first thing it, it was the first thing we yeah started adding to the um the arsenal i guess yeah and the one meal a day but i think it was sea swims first that was like around yeah. the same time wasn't it i think it was because we did once a week no matter what on a sunday and just kept that was like the uh, the pillar do you think it was the what we were doing or the fact that we was doing it with such consistency i think it was both i think it was the discipline and the fact it was cold yeah, yeah i'd say it was both the combination so that comp like that yeah. as a habit yeah we just kind of got it yeah. found something that worked you're learning a skill which is discipline and consistency and then obviously the physical cold is uh helping because that's a transferable skill isn't it yeah you're doing something i think this is actually what helped me lose weight as well mm. because i tended to um I noticed my weight go down after the implemented, and it wasn't just uh, sea swims, it was cold showers first. Oh, yeah. And it's because, I, that's got to be the first step in it, I'm sure it was cold showers every day, and then I was like, let's just go in the sea. And discipline is doing the thing you don't want to do, regardless of how you feel about it. And where I would do my cold shower first thing in the morning, I've already, the first thing I do is something I don't want to do. So then when it comes to meal time, I want to eat that food. But I've already just done, I've already exercised the muscle of discipline where I'm like, oh, well, I don't really want to do that. And everything else in your day seems a bit easier to do. So you get used to discomfort and anytime you want to achieve anything, it requires a bit of discomfort. So yeah, the sea swim, uh, the cold showers were like the turning point. And then sea swims, we bend off the barrel and went in the sea. Oh, your barrel broke, didn't it? It started leaking. Oh yeah, that that might have been why. Yeah, I've, either we just decided not to or the barrel yeah. started like leaking. Yeah, it did start leaking. That's probably why. And it's hard to change the water in the barrel, so it starts going a bit manky. And it's just, it's just a bit of a pain to do. So there are added benefits to going in the sea as well, which you get the grounding effect of the water and obviously it's salt water, which is good for you. The body's 70% water and it's mother nature, it's time in nature and you're getting the charge. And some of the sea swims we would go on, it would be like the weather was horrendous. And you, I've done a couple of videos even here now and it's been wavy, but so yeah, that's why we got into sea swims. And I want to know as well, I like talk about a lot of habits, but do any of you guys actually implement this stuff? Because I think I'm going to start need to see proof soon. Do you know what I mean? I need videos or pictures of you guys in the sea. But yeah, drop a comment and let me know if you have access. Because we're very lucky on the Isle of Wight to have access to this. But if you do cold showers or cold water therapy of any kind, like just let me know and tell me what your experience is. But yeah, that's why we got into it. And that's what we're doing today. So we're doing a sea swim and then followed by the sauna. Also, we did, we climbed up Mount Snowden, right, one time, and it was freezing cold, the weather was horrendous, and we was in shorts and a t-shirt, being passed the other direction by, like, ex-army guys, head-to-toe in waterproof gear, and I'll tell you about that story at some point, that's a story for the future, but yeah, today, this is the sea swim, so we'll get into it. So this is it. Let's get in. <sighs> lovely, lovely day. Shall we take the uh, take the elevator today? Yeah. Don't we? We do the stairs and almost stack it. So it's a little bit less. 
wavy than it was last time. The last couple of times have been really fun because when you get the waves, you can like surf them and do all kinds. But this is what we are uh, doing today. Still enough waves to have a bit of energy, I think. So that's good. Such a good spot down here. When we first started, it was always sea view. We got like this little, when the tide goes out, it goes out really far in ride, which is where I normally go. So you're walking and you can literally walk for miles before you get to the water and then it's shallow. But in sea view, the tide comes up to where the slipway is. So whatever the tide's doing, it's always in, so you can always get in. And then here, there's a short walk and now we're in the sea. So yeah, some really nice spots on the island. Sewage is a bit of an issue. They do pump out sewage into the water, but it's just good for the immune system as far as I can tell. current again today isn't it? It's always easier once you get the head dunked in you come in and you feel really like fragile like the, the cold is affecting you. As soon as you get that head in, I think it regulates your heat or something, and then you can just, you can do it. The current's really strong this way today. Yeah. So I'm just trying to like get over there. Decent sized waves. It's quite good when it's like this, because it's not battering you crazy, yeah. but you can still like get the energy from it. Yeah. So, good session. It looks really cool over there as well. We've got like the fog and the clouds are like rolling over the hill and it looks really nice. I'll give you a little pan round so you can see the whole scenario. So if I remember rightly, Huberman says 11 minutes submerged up to the neck because I think you've got receptors in the neck. So I guess we're going to have to uh, get in there. Yeah, the waves are perfect today because you've got a nice bit of movement which gives you energy. Mother Nature. But also calm enough where you're not getting battered. And I always get like water splashes on the, the lens. So I'm just going to focus on breathing. I'm going to do 10 deep breaths, really focused, I'm grounded into the earth, the feet is on the wet sand, so we're connected to nature, so 10 breaths. I think that's about 10. <sighs> well, it's 
good. Oh, I had this thought, right? I'll tell you as well. <laughs> I'll tell you as well as these guys. This water, water conducts electricity, right? And the human body. I actually saw um, Billy Carson said something about electricity. The mitochondria in cells actually make electricity. And if you measure the amount of electricity in one cell, and mul it multiply it by all the cells in the body. We like have a lot of volts. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, I can't remember what, it, I'd have to like Google it again, but we have a lot of electricity in the body. Right. So, hey! <laughs> So I thought, if we're electric, that's why if you, you can get an electric shock, and that's why lightning would strike people, because we conduct electricity. We're in, we're electric, we're in the sea, and the, the sea covers the whole earth, and it conducts electricity. Ah, yeah, that's so, it. So if I'm in the sea here, and there's some geezer in the sea, in uh, miles away, we're grounded and connected to them. Yeah, yeah. Potentially. Yeah. But we're also connected to everything else that's in the sea. Yeah. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, all the, yeah. There's yeah. fish, there's all kinds of life. Whales and all sorts. Is that bro science or is that legit? <laughs> like somebody tell me I'm a retard. <laughs> or not, do you know what I mean? But I thought no, about no, that. So, yeah, Tony's throwing in a little swim. Normally it's just a stand. <laughs> I think what's happening here, right, is one of us has to call it. <laughs> and I think Tony's realizing it's not gonna be me. So he's swimming to keep, <laughs> to keep the heat going. And I might have to join him because I'm feeling it, boys. I hope a dog don't nick my crocs. Right, we're gonna have to get moving, bro. I can't swim with a GoPro though, so I'm just gonna get a run on. Tony's playing with some waves. So we're now at the point where we're just gathering cheap. We're taking energy out of mother nature. <sighs> Milking it, bruv. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Somebody commented that on my last video. Oh, Seb. Oh, was that Sam? Seb's doing a Dragon Ball clip. Oh, was that? Oh, uh, right. Yeah, the coffee someone got it. Yeah, I think it, bro, I think I crabbed this went for. Ah, I'm broken out! <laughs> right, that's like the first time, maybe in the summer that's happened. That was a full on crab nipping at my feet. <laughs> it did my right foot and then it like. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Probably just seaweed or something, but. <sighs> yes, bro. Seawater gain! Yeah, so do you actually do this, guys? Do you do it? <laughs> I want to see somebody do it. Or is it just us? Sauna's going to be hitting hard today. Yeah, I bought some Speedos, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nah, they're, they're too small. So, too tight. too tight, yeah. What size did you get? Medium. Oh, it's, it's weird, you don't want them baggy either, so they're not speedos. Yeah. So no, they're just, I think I've got like love handles hanging over and they're just a bit tight where it's... quite ready for them. Yeah. Maybe in my final form. It's not bad. Stay down here today. We're both being very stubborn today, boys. <laughs> We're just going to die. <laughs> this is how the YouTube channel ends, boys. No more videos. Because neither of us are going to call it and we're both going to die. <laughs> oh, well, we might as well just 
relax into the nice warm hyperthermia. <laughs> I think we're at 10 30. <laughs> yeah, waves are coming now. <sighs> yeah, we'll do 11 minutes. We're at 10 46, but it took us like 46 seconds to walk in. 13. 13 will go. Cuberman's yeah. cool. <laughs> <sighs> we got a little bit of rain as well today. Yeah. We've had it before where we'll be in and it'll be like dead car and then it rains and when the water hits the surface of the sea it looks beautiful we have got a bit of sun peeking through though so i'm going to stack another habit which is getting sunlight in the eyes while we're out here so another habit as well boys if we're out here doing it gratitude right i'm gonna do a video on gratitude journaling but i'm very grateful for where i live oh, i've had a bit of water on this lens the whole time i hope that <laughs> i hope that ain't just oh it's even worse now <laughs> so yeah i'm very grateful that i have access to this and I'm grateful for the sauna that we're gonna go into. So yeah, I'll, I'll do a, a proper video on gratitude, but it's just one worth adding. Are we there yet? <laughs> 13 exactly. Is it? Yeah. 15 is a Tesla number though. 15? <laughs> yeah. It's a multiple of three. <laughs> Connor's gonna get us killed! <laughs> yeah, waves are picking up now. Proper red, isn't it? Send it, bro. 15, yeah. Right, the mad dash back. Yeah, it's proper pulling us. Oh. 
for a boat. That's a good, that's a good visualisation. Vikings just strolling out. Imagine, yeah, six miles at sea, you just jumped off your uh, to have to go into battle with the local people. I went for a sea swim yesterday, just a brief one, just to cool down a little bit. And I had a thought, I like, just let it, they say if you wanna heal the body, go to the ocean. And I like to get, but this was another Billy Carson thing actually. He says he gets all his best ideas walking along the beach. And I like to do that, because you're barefoot in the, in the earth. And I had the thought of inflammation, like all problems with your body, it's inflammation, isn't it? The opposite of in, like inflammation is heat, and the opposite of that's cold. So by doing what we've just done, has got to reduce all every bit of inflammation in your body, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. it's so that's in there now, isn't it? <laughs> I'm super <seeing> fun there. <laughs> This drive's gonna be interesting, I'll film this because we might crash. Yeah. <sighs> it's funny walking out to the beach to see parking, you know. It's like why are you driving that? <laughs> we do this with like zero preparation like normal people, do we? Oh yep. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so you know the score. This is the aftermath. <coughs> oh, that was a good session. Did about 15 minutes. And the sea is pretty damn cold. On the way to the sauna. Oh, I can't even <laughs> can't hold the finger still. Hey. Oh, this is painful. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's good. If it's worth doing, <laughs> if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. I think that might be the channel. I need a slogan for the end of the videos. The intro is right boys. And the outro... <laughs> right boys! <laughs> right gents. <laughs> right bro. <laughs> Yes, boys! If it's worth doing. <laughs> it's worth overdoing. <laughs> Red light. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> See you in the next one. <laughs>